All right, everyone, welcome back to the Motor of Anatomy. Today we have Patrick. Patrick, thank you so much for driving such a long distance, man. I really appreciate it. Tell us, man, what do you drive? It's a 98 Civic EX, converted to a SIR look. Um, yeah, I, I've been wanting this look for a while, man. It's, it, I'm really happy where it came out right now. Cool. So, yes, sir. So tell us, when did you pick it up and why a Civic? Uh, I picked it up in, back in uh, 2015, around June. And when I, I'm from the Philippines, I've been always wanted drag race and street car, you know, Hondas for life. And my brother got me a, a Honda beat up EG back in the, back in the day. Mm -hmm. And then I came here to the United States you know what, I'm gonna build a car that I want. So I picked up this black EX 98 for 800 bucks nice. with no shell, oh, with no motor. So shell. Okay. Just a shell, mm -hmm. no motor. And I used it for a while, you know, picked up some D16Y8, used it for daily for two years. And then after the, the single cam messed up, I just put a GSR. And then a GSR, I street race every day, every night. I blow up the piston, the block, so I changed it to a B20V. So I just, from there, dude, I just moved up. Nice. Yeah. How did you get started in the Honda world? I mean, you mentioned uh, Philippines, but after all those motors breaking up on you, why not move away from the platform? I can't, man. My, you <laughs> know, as that. yeah, I can't, man. It's, you know, it's, you know, for me, like my girl told me, yeah, I'd rather have you doing the car instead of doing drugs, alcohol, anything different that's it's gonna it's bad for your health might as well do it for your car you see your money you see your work your hard work you know your sweat your blood it makes you happy every time you look at it things like that plus the people you meet in. yeah and then you meet 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 random people that cool people you learn from them you know you get advice from them you take it and then you move on so, nice. yes sir so what would you take that, tell that person who's building a honda well, I usually, when people ask me, for instance, in Instagram, they ask me, hey, what's your setup? Hey, how do you do this? You know, just be straight up. What are you, what are you trying to do? Let me know what you're trying to do, and then I'll give you advice. The advice I can give you is the one you can, you can afford. So, for instance, for instance, people will ask me, uh, what's, your, your, what's your setup on your wheel? What's set up your tires? And I'll give them advice. Look, man, if you can't afford it, just keep your head up and work hard. You'll get there. You know, that's why he's my mentor. You know, he, he, if he needs help, dude, just let me know. We'll go from the bottom, we'll move up. Just keep positive, don't do, don't do anything stupid. Just focus your mind, you'll be able to do it. All right, Patrick, so tell us a little bit about the front end. What do we got going on, man? All right, front end, it's, start from the hood. It's a VIS hood. Um, actually, got it from my buddy, Fred. He's the one that hooked it up. It's actually, it's not a Jace Racing, it's called June Racing. Um, from what I've known, he said this is the first one they made. Gotcha. So yeah, so that's a VIS hood, and I converted to SIR front end with the black moldings, and it's actually OEM, and the Mugen, Mugen lip, top one motors diffuser, and also the SIR headlight. Nice. Yes, sir. Interesting. Oh, that's really pretty. Now, Thank what's you. the color code of the car? It's the R81. Oh, okay. Yeah, the the real R OEM red OEM EM one. Since you mentioned it has been resprayed, so I mean it, it looks it looks great for a car that's been resprayed. So thank you, thank um, you. Wow, what is it? What are the future plans for the front end? At the moment, nothing, because mm -hmm. you know I want to. You know, coronavirus, COVID nineteen, everybody's down. There's no work, so I'm just trying to put this in the garage for now i'm trying to pick up another project car that's the thing okay that makes sense yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i think i spent money on this one but I need to go pick up another yeah one. that's so fine i'm trying to pick up a hatch oh nice yeah so right. hopefully that one will get to this video as well uh, okay crazy <laughs> all right see. that one's gonna be a street car okay yeah sweet. that one's gonna be a drag so then tell us what kind of suspension do you have on so this is actually a function and form type 2 yeah, so it's one of the most comfortable suspension I've had. I've had it for like two years now. It hasn't has hasn't given me a problem. No issue. No, and also have K tune on um, all the upper and lower control arms, um, all K tune. I also have a traction bar just because I wheel hop, dude. I wheel hop, 
So I just put that just in, just to protect the front end at least, and that's pretty much it. I got nothing really special. That's good, man. Yeah. That's cool, cool. Size third PCI? Yes, sir. How many inches? It, it is, I believe it's four. Four? Yeah. Very nice. I like the, I like the, the black and red contrast. Yes, sir. So tell us about your wheel and tire setup. So the wheel is 15 by eight, nice. 30 offset. It's actually for uh, Cosmos wheels. And then the tires are only Nitos, Nito, Neo, Neo Gen. They're 20550 R15. I mean, you know, it gets me everywhere. I'm not really trying to put a semi slick right now. Eventually, soon, it's already in the garage. We're just waiting for the new setup that we're trying to put in. Um, stay tuned on that one, you know. If there's a part two, we'll redo <laughs> it. <laughs> but yeah. Tell us a little about about the, the rear. What do we got going on? All right, we ran. I also have a trunk VIS hood. Um, again, Fred from VIS hooked it up. He's the guy that always helped me out. Whenever, every time I needed something, I just hit him up. Also have the SIR rear bumper with Top One Motors rear diffuser. And also K-Tune turned down three inch. So, yeah. Tell us about your exhaust system. What do you have going on? So the exhaust system is two and a half piping, but also 16 inch of vibrant resonator. So it's, dude, without that thing, this car is hella loud. So that's why I just put that 16 inch in there just to help me out when I'm just cruising, less drone, and it helps me hear something, you know? <laughs> going on man interior nothing really special it's just uh you know ricardo seats from the dc2 momo steering wheel k-tune shifter with that circuit hero just to cover you know and then also have the takata harness nothing really special inside i'm still working on that one and also the the door panels that came off of a type r nice. so it's actually came out of the right hand drive so i had to do some modification just to fit it in there <laughs> yeah it's not fully gutted it's just you know tall garage work what are the future plans for it um i'm still debating if i'm gonna fully gutted it you know and then respray all the interior um i'm so still red no black oh, okay. i want to do black and red okay. <clears throat> so i want to keep that simple um, I don't want it to like too bright. It's just, you know, everybody has all red. You know, if you see a red card, you expect to see red inside. So I want to be different. I want to see red outside. And then when they look inside, it's black. Ooh, nice contrast. Yeah. yeah. You ain't clean it? <laughs> no. Nah. You liar. I swear. You just say you, you had like three hours of sleep. You went to sleep like at three in the morning cleaning in the car. Not, not even. I got a life too. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Patrick, tell us. What are we staring at, man? All right, well... Looking at the B20V, built by JSR, my homie Jake. He's the one that finished the full block. And of course, I gotta mention my uh, sponsorship, Scone 2. They're, they helped me out. So the head is all fully Scone 2, valve trains, springs, pretty much everything, even cams, um, injectors or injector dynamics. I have a RMF headers, Scon 2 radiator, engine, three inch short ramp pipe with a three inch velocity stack, of course, and 70 millimeter throttle body. Nice. Yes, sir. Uh, how about the transmission? Transmission is actually 4.7. Final drive. To be honest with you, man, when you're cruising on the freeway, 4.7 is not fun. <laughs> but definitely fun when you're trying to run somebody you know you definitely feel the power and the short gear helps a lot you know so yeah 
It's tuned by uh, the homie Miles Bautista, the legend. He's a uh, he's a uh, he was the Rev Hard guy back in the day. No way. Yes, Rev Hard. Right now he's still doing the turbo kits and stuff. What is the future plans for it? It seems like it's very well put together. So, future plan? To be honest, like I said, not a, nothing right now. Okay. Um, you know, I see a lot of cars out there pushing more power and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Hey, like I said, I mentioned earlier, it's not a street car anymore. It's only for a show car for now. Um, I want, I want this car to last a little bit. You know. Yeah. So yeah. Any any shout outs? All right, man. I just want to thank you know the people that helped me to finish this build, this car. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Skunk 2, Grams, and Craftworks. You guys are always there for me when I need something. One call, you guys, you know, always pick up and let me know what I need and stuff like that. And also, for my buddy R Spec Auto Tech at San Bernardino, he's always there. Any parts you guys need, just go over there, ask for Nick. Tell him Patrick with the red coupe sent you guys there. He'll take care of you guys. And also, the guy that built my motor, Jake from JSR. Um, you know, I dropped off the motor over there. He completely finished it in less than a month. Dude, he did a great job. I'm happy with the power I made. I'm happy how it pulls. So yeah, and also I want to thank Revheart, Max Speed, Miles Bautista for tuning my car. It runs great, no issue, no, no problem at all. I also want to thank, you know, Injector Dynamics. You guys always, always, always come up with a good product. These injectors, no issue still 100 percent running great i also want to thank my sponsor auto care vash auto care dude if you guys need anything let me know on instagram ek underscore trick 18 just let me know if you guys need a coupon let me know that's it yeah man well thank you so much for making the time for us a beautiful car obviously is a labor of love um you did mention some other projects that are coming up and i can't wait to uh to actually get to see how the other ones develop and to have them side by side so i think it's gonna be pretty cool man so thank you so much patrick i really appreciate it. you know it's a far drive from you and you have a pretty busy day today uh but i really appreciate you making some time and um we need more people like you in the honda community who are really appreciate the chassis and actually have the love for the actual uh for the brand of course man no problem you know dude like i really appreciate your time as well for messaging me on instagram dude i really appreciate that and this is my first video bro from interviewing from you know from you guys but i really appreciate it for the time bro um i get to get my name out there and also my you know for the build that i spent so i'm really happy with it man appreciate it much love brother if you guys need anything just let me know thank you man appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> don't just like answer a question no no it's a conversation now. all right all right. Mind, all right i'm not even gonna think about the camera all right i'm just kidding <laughs> you made it worse now all right. i'm just kidding all right man don't be a robot all right yes sir <laughs> what kind of car you drive, Civic? <laughs> Just Honda. Honda. All right. Coop. Three, two, one. That's it. So, you talk about this, right? The yeah. one I just put it in. I, I'm talking about your car. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what do you think we're talking about? We're talking about your car. I blanked out, bro. I blanked yeah, out. We're going so well. I know. Yeah, I got three hours sleep. That's why. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. All right. Take two. Take two. So tell us about your suspension pieces. For control arm. Um, also my uh, my tow hook. I mean, I tow hook. Fuck. <laughs> you were <doing> so good. <laughs> Jesus, bro. <laughs> Why are you doing this shit to me? All right, let's re redo it again. All right. <laughs> last, take three, last. Take three, here we go. All right, man, tell us about your suspension pieces. Fuck. All right, let's yeah. redo it. Are you still playing it? Yeah, what, uh, what do you think? <laughs> All right, let's redo it. Fuck it. No, that's fine. That's fine. I can edit it. Oh, okay. That's when you finish. I'm like, okay. All right. And then, uh, where did I stop? I really appreciate it, guys. And of course, fuck, dude, I blanked out, dude. <laughs> that's it, dude, for now. <laughs> yeah, sure? yeah, that's it. You're gonna be driving me like, fuck, I forgot him and her. I know. What do I see? 
Of course you did. I want to thank you, Doc, for thank taking you. the time. You know, <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> yeah, I know what to say. Can I hit my vape, bro? Can I hit my vape real quick, dude? <laughs>